Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno 0.8. Now, when we left off, we were actually doing relatively well by attacking a number of bandit parties and gaining some good money from that. Now, as you can see here, we have some sand stalkers to take care of, and after that, we're going to be heading to the nearby town and hopefully getting a task from the guildmaster that is actually doable for us instead of one of those things that is just like, oh, please defeat this incredibly difficult and very strong and powerful party. Because that would be obviously not doable for us right now, but you never know. Maybe we're going to get some sort of wine delivery or maybe we're just going to get something that is just like, oh, yes, go and kill this bandit here, you know. And I think that might be a little bit better than... The other thing, which was obviously to destroy Zeladek the Chosen One. I mean, really. Come on now. Destroying Zeladek the Chosen One. Now, one of you did actually say that the rewards do scale. And that means that obviously we would have gained a very, very big amount of money for completing that task. Ooh, ah, yeah, okay. Don't, don't get me shot, please. Oh, this is not good. We allowed them to have the high ground. This is never a good thing. Oh... Um, that's not good at all. Should have got on out my shield, but I thought to myself, mm, I'm going to take a chance here, but no, the, the chance was not good enough. No, certainly not. Okay, so the one thing I... <laughs> now, this is the thing. The one thing I really, really enjoy about Parisno, because I die quite a lot, is the fact that the after-death camera is so incredibly controllable, if you know what I mean. It has so many different options for you to maneuver around, like you can use control to go down and you can use shift to go up and space to speed up and everything and it's just so smooth and I know that that's a really minor thing and it actually doesn't matter at all but it really improves the experience in comparison to others because I know that in other mods uh, I think blood and steel was quite sort of a you know, quite guilty for this and that was that the after death camera was extremely stuttery and didn't really make much sense because you couldn't really do much with it. Okay, so I'm going to be... <laughs> we're we're going to be putting on this new helmet. And it's kind of hilarious. Because he looks very grumpy, doesn't he? He looks like a very grumpy person. So, mm, yes. Anyway, let's just take all of this. And maybe we'll be able to give something to Slighter. I don't believe he comes with a helmet, does he? Well, I suppose we'll find out in just a second. Ah, there's level 10 as well. Very nice. Okay, so... Oh, you do come with a helmet. Oh, very nice. Okay, so yes, it's only seven, though. I would very much prefer him to wear something better. Seems I'll be having to give him the demon hood, which makes him look very creepy indeed. And maybe I can give him some throwing spears, because he is a thrown weapon specialist. So that might help him out quite a bit. He's actually using a pretty decent weapon here. Hmm, let me see. What should I use instead? Well, the rusty saber is obviously better than what he's using. But I don't really want to give him a two-handed. I think that would be a little bit not too good. Okay, so there we go. Let's just swap around those. And he does need to get some newer armor. But these are not better than what he has. So that's fine. Okay. So let's level up a couple of people. And, oh yeah. These people. Wait a minute. Where are they? Not the village guards. We want the other people. So who are they again? The glory-seeking man. Yeah, the glory-seeking man. If you upgrade them into the volunteers, that is the blunt weapons. Thanks for letting me know about that as well. Okay, so, otherwise let's just level up our giants. Wow, most of us are actually kind of dead, so that's not very good. Okay, I'm going to go and head to Crane, I believe. That seems to be the closest town apart from Uliastai, and I don't really want to go over there because that's going back, and maybe we'll encounter some additional bandits. You never know. I think it might be quite nice to do that. So, let's head inside. Okay, do I have any... I don't have any prisoners. Oh, well, that's kind of a shame. Anyway, let's go and sell. I very much like selling in prisoners as well, because look at that. 22,000. They have 22,000 for us to take from them. Well, kind of not really taking them, because, well, we're selling extremely bad loot right now. Anyway, so let's have a look. Let's go and meet the guild master. Do you have a job for me? Oh, no. They have infested the vicinity of our town. Oh my. Okay. I will pay you 320 orums. Really? Is that it? Okay, I'm going to hunt down those bandits anyway because it might be an idea. And because Parisno is so nice, they decide to basically be like, hey, there's the bandits. There's the bandits that you need to kill. And usually, 
that does not happen. Usually, I, I, I don't think that happens at least, but from my experience, whenever I take the Hunt Down the Bandits quest, I always get just absolutely messed around like nothing else. Oh no, and now these, these this Hakon patrol is attacking them. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, so let's move in to help the Hakon Empire patrol. This is going to be pretty bad because if they are able to do this by themselves as I heal myself. Oh, you failed your attribute check? Are you serious? Really? Okay, wait a minute. Is it you that heals my men? Yes, it is. So why did not help me? Well, that's kind of a shame. But yes, it seems like uh, I hope I get credit for this. I hope I get credit for this, because I know that in the past, whenever a particular party of a vassal, or maybe a patrol, or some other bandit party has preyed upon the bandit party that I want to kill, then it doesn't give you the benefit. It doesn't give you the credit for the mission. I very much hope that that is going to be a little bit changed here, though, because that Hakon patrol was not going to give up. They are very, very powerful indeed, in comparison to us. And, yeah, they would have been able to kill these bandits extremely easily. I mean, look at them. They're regular bandits. I mean, I'm not surprised that they're actually giving us 320. I mean, literally, it's it's very, very easy in comparison to anything else that we would have had to have done, I suppose. But, well, I maybe would have preferred delivering some things. I think that would have been a better idea. But, well, I can't really do much about that, can I? So let's just zoom ourselves out a little bit there. It's going to make a difference to the FOV a little bit anyway. And I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so now we can press this to leave. There we go. And yes, thank you for your help. Okay, so does that mean I've completed the quest? Please let me say yes to that. <laughs> uh, if, it, if it's not, I'm going to be, I'm going to be disappointed. Let's have a look. Did it? Ah, oh, yes, exactly. That's my point. Ah, oh, okay. So let's go back to Crane and see. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's not go back to Crane. Wait, these are running from me? No, they're running away from the unemployed, mercenary, impoverished knights. They're fighting each other. We do not want to get involved in this. So I think we're probably going to move away. Oh, no. They're actually... Are they faster than us? No, they're not. They seem like they're faster than us, but they're actually 0.1 slower. So let's be a little bit careful with them. And we're going to go into Ulia Stein now and speak to the Guildmaster. Ugh. Okay, so do you have a job for me? Really? I, I think the game is kind of making fun of me right now. We would like you to track these Zeladek the Chosen One down. Yes, no, I'm not... I, I'm sorry, that I can't do that. Even if I were to, shall we say, lure Zeladek into some other vassal, there's going to be no way that I'll be able to take credit for that, as you've just seen. So, that's kind of a shame. Well, anyway, let's head back to Kulvara. We almost have enough money to be able to buy an ironworks, I think. Maybe? I think we're, we're going to, so let's see if we're able to do that. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So, yes, you don't really like me very much. Well, that's a shame. Maybe I can... Ah, yes, escort a caravan to Uliastai. 640 orums. Okay. Let's do it. Why not? That seems a lot easier than the other thing, but yeah, a lot of you actually said, well, one of you suggested that to do the Guildmaster quests, you gain 2,000 to 4,000 orums. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Was that experience? I think that was actually experience. So yeah, never mind. I got that a little bit incorrect, but hopefully we'll actually be able to complete one of these because it would be nice to gain a little bit of experience. Oh no, please don't come over here, deserters. That would not be nice. I would like to be able to have a completely drama-free time going down to Uliastai. Oh, it's actually only over there. I thought it was a lot further. Well, that's nice. Okay, yes, now leave me alone. Leave me alone, deserters. Wow, Draharan Desert Warriors definitely don't want to be dealing with those. Okay, come on. Come on, get over here. Yes. Scorpion is saying get over here. Come on now. A scout, ooh, a scout trying to gather information about scouts. Skull Crusher Wilkins has been slain near Demeg Castle. Well, that's, that's amusing. Okay, so we have arrived. Are you, okay, we've, we've arrived, yes. You follow my lead. Oh, okay. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it's, it's here. No? Okay, I'm actually, 
I'm actually unsure. It says escort it to the town of Uliasai. Okay, maybe I have to move it outside here because I didn't speak to them immediately. Now, what I do really like, which is a new feature as far as I'm aware, is that Zeladek and Queen Aegea are both being scouted, shall we say. They're both on the text messages here, so you can basically tell where they are at most times, which is actually really cool because that means if you're trying to hunt them down, you don't really need to search that much, which is extremely good quality of life feature. Okay, now, go on. Go on, yeah, we're here. Oh, oh, okay, I have to speak to them. Ugh, okay, well, that, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually escorted a caravan, but anyway, there it is. Yes, amazing experience, as you can see. 6,000, oh, not 6,000, 640 Aurums, that's perfectly fine, and that was very, very simple indeed to do. And Slighter has advanced in level, and a couple of our other people have also advanced. Let's go for some volunteers here, and we'll go for prisoner initiates and mercenary archers oh my i don't even know i don't even know what to go for right now but i'm just kind of going with it i suppose you could say so yes apparently to get prisoners or to recruit prisoners shall we say from a battle you need to have persuasion and a good relation with that particular faction's units so if you're, for example, wanting to take Draharan units, you need to have a big relation with Drahara and a big persuasion skill. And then you can rescue those prisoners, and the better the persuasion skill, apparently the better success chance and the higher level units you can actually take, which is actually kind of weird to me. I've not had that happen ever before, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what happens with that, because it seems a bit weird to me, but... I think that's kind of nice to make persuasion a little bit more useful because usually it's not and it is a personal skill so I don't know whether I should increase my charisma at all or whether I should just increase my strength or something I'm actually unsure about that well let's have a look here what should I go for I don't know maybe another yeah I think oh I would like to uh, let's see Mm, I would very much like to go for some more medic skills, but I don't really want to do that because we do have Arendel or Allendel, yes, Allendel, who is a medic companion, and I think he joins you for free or a very cheap price, and I'd very much like to find him, so I'm just going to level up my charisma a little bit more, and we'll go for some power strike and iron flesh. Oh, I actually have three points. Oh, okay. And what else are we going to go for then? Should we just... Okay, should we just go for persuasion? I don't even know. Okay, let's go for one in Power Strike, and we'll just go for two in Persuasion here. I just want to be able to see the limits on that particular sort of functionality in the mod, and I, I don't even know whether there are any, but obviously if you have a huge amount of Persuasion, then that would be great. Obviously having Persuasion as a giant is not very good. Yeah, we have very low Charisma after all. Alright, so I've headed back to Soot, and as you can see, we have another caravan mission, which is actually going to be very lucrative, or at least I hope so, and I just don't have enough just yet to be able to purchase an Enterprise. Maybe I will from this, actually. Let me just sell real quick, and then we'll see whether I do. I might. I might have enough to get an Ironworks. Let's see whether that is indeed the case. Okay, so profit would be 2,000. Wow, you need 12,000 orums. Oh, yeah, you no longer need 3,500. It's actually 12,000 for that. Okay, what about this? No, that's that's terrible. Okay, we're going to need an ironworks. We are literally going to need an ironworks. Oh, that's nice. I think I might do that. A brewery. Yes, let's do that. There we go. Okay, so that's 3,000, and that's going to give us 1,000 per week once it is constructed. Okay, so to cut a long story short, we are going to have a slight problem here. As you can see, we have run into one of the Bacal giant vassals, and this is going to be kind of difficult because obviously we've seen they have very powerful units. Now, the one thing that you must know is that I did not do this because of my blindness or whatever it was before that caused me to run into them, but this was actually due to necessity, because the other path that I could have taken was Zeladek. Zeladek, the Chosen One, was actually there, and he was a lot faster than us, so I decided, hey, you know what, let's turn around. And we turned around, and then this guy was in the forest, and he was actually a lot faster than us as well, so he was able to catch up with us. Now, he only has 
43 units. So you never know. Maybe we'll be able to pull off some sort of amazing spectacular victory. I highly doubt it somehow. But you never know. Maybe we'll be able to. And it might be... Uh, yeah. It, it might be good. I, uh, I really doubt it. But let's just hope, shall we? Let's just hope. I mean, really, we have... Uh, yeah, this is not going to go well, is it? No, it's not going to go well. We do have some archers, though. We have 20 archers, so maybe we can make good use of them. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I kind of know that... Oh, my. They have skull shooters, don't they? Yes. Well, this is not good. Okay, so let's put our archers here. Let's put our infantry out the front there, and I'm going to get out my shield just in case, but the shield is not going to do much. I mean, really, it's, it's just going to break instantly. So I'm going to send in my infantry right now. We're just going to charge straight on in there, and we're going to get our archers. Oh, our archers are actually doing not bad, but I, I think that's going to be short-lived somehow. As you can see, these guys have extremely, extremely good armor and, oh wow, and HP and everything. Look at this guy. He is just not dying. He's just not dying. He's just like, no, no, I'm not going to die now, and I'm going to kill you instead. <laughs> oh my, yes. They're skull shooters. They have extremely, extremely powerful Skull shooters, and this is the thing, I could not have avoided this, except if I had decided to not do the quest. And I actually really wanted to do the quest, because it gives you almost a thousand, and I've just spent quite a bit. But obviously, maybe I'm j I just got a bit greedy. I think I probably just got a bit greedy, but that's just how it goes, I guess. And, wait a minute, are we gonna win? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, let me just, let me just rewind real quick. Alright, so, yes, we won. Uh, isn't that amazing? Oh, wow, I was very much expecting to win that. Oh, uh, yes, very good. Oh, look at that. We didn't lose that many at all. Look at that. Only th only um, uh, 3.2. Yes, only 3.2 of them we lost, and, yeah, we killed all of them, which is amazing. And we can take him prisoner? Ooh. Uh, oh, wait, I remember in prisoner that taking vassals prisoner is not a good idea. Oh... Uh, uh, yeah, no, yes, no, I, I, oh, no. Yeah, I remember in Prisoner that taking vassals is not a good idea because that means that their allies become annoyed or something. But should I just do it? Should I just do it? Because I'm actually a vassal of another faction, so maybe if I leave that faction at some point in the future, it won't make a difference, but... Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, it doesn't seem to make too much difference either way. So, we do have a couple of cavalry to rescue, but that's really not going to make up for the fact that we lost so many. But, look at this! We get even better armor! What an amazing find! I really cannot believe it, and I can't believe that I don't have one in shield. Are you serious? I don't have one in shield? Okay, apparently I don't have one in shield, but I am going to be taking that. That is a lot better than what we have, due to its amazing piercing damage. And I think that is... Fine. Oh, yeah. That is very nice. That is more than fine, actually. Okay, so, there we go. Going to take that armor as well. Going to sell that. Or, you know, in theory, we could give that to Slighter, but he's most likely not going to be able to use it, obviously, because, well, you know, he's not a giant, and he doesn't have a huge amount of strength. So, yeah, there, there's the first Soot Warriors that we're getting right there. Actually, no, we already had some Soot Warriors. Oh, oh, wow, they're going to take a long time to level up. That is insane. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, we did it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Okay, so, yeah. So we came out here, and, that, uh, and that's where Zeladek was. So I decided, hey, you know what, let's run this way, and then I encounter this vessel here. So hopefully we're not going to encounter another one. So we'll leave that for the next episode. You never know what's going to happen. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.